Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're in Roseway on Terra 2, and uh, after we've uh, last time, we uh, kind of questioned everybody here, uh, most of the scientists here, to press them about what happened here exactly. So they were apparently attacked by Oddlaws, who then released the Raptodon test subjects, and those kind of started murdering everybody. Um, but apparently they were doing research someplace else, which is also very weird. So why didn't the bandits go over there? So we take the other exit out of the Roseway Gardens. And of course, a lot more dead people over here. He lost his head. How did he lose his head? Did one of the Raptodons just eat, up, eat his head off? Bite his head off. Raptodon hide. I'm just gonna... I wanna, I wanna try this pistol out. Seems like an... Ooh. Never checked out the uh, ammo capacity of this thing. I hear growling. There's a... Can it? Ooh, this thing doesn't really do much damage, I feel like. Ooh, that's... That's not good. Uh, let's... Let's sort this thing. There we go. There we go. I killed it with melee attacks. I wanted to try that. Um, yeah, the auto pistol really sucks. I'm gonna stick to the plasma rifle for now. Because it's just way better. So there's supposed to be two labs. One over here, the public one. Antibiotics Lab 0013. Then... Mr. Jameson is. He's okay. All the way over there, there's another lab built inside of the mountain. I'm just gonna snipe those. What are those? Raptodon spitters. Um. And like this. All together. Done. There we go. Oh, did I get hit? I, d I got hit. And they're dead. Okay. I kind of kept in stealth there for no reason whatsoever. But uh, yeah, another batch of, batch of dead scientists and raptodons. So, nothing in particular. I'm going to take the ammo and everything. Ooh, another defensive helmet. Might give that to somebody else. A pulse hammer. Two-handed melee of 168 DPS. That's actually a lot. Just gonna check uh, those weapons out. After I've checked out the corpses over here, a Marauder. Aha! It's getting more interesting. So now there's Marauders here as well. So I did a little bit of inventory management uh, and gave Felix the uh, advanced helmet as well. So now I wanna check this lab out first because apparently. Ooh, what the hell is that? A mechanical sentry. I don't see the blue bit. Oh, there it is. Hi. I wanted to have you uh, stop there. There we goes. There we goes. 800 experience for that. I always get a lot of experience for enemy kill. Okay. Apparently there's something else here. There we goes. It is. You guys really need to be careful, because was this guy actually firing at us, at us or are, were you just really, really trigger happy? Um, seems like that is basically it, although there seems to be a ramp in the back. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can we get in higher here? Yeah, there's actually a separate door here. Let's go in here. Okay. I see... Five enemies for now, but we're at the upper floor, so I feel like this might be working in our favor. Um, because I need to be stealthy. I wanted to see if I can take anything uh, out here by just checking out the terminals. Raptodon fluid in the ingestion tests. Determine the maximum amount of raptodon digestive acid that can be safely ingested by humans before adverse effects present themselves. Proposal procedure, slowly introduce increasing amounts of raptodon digestive acid into the evening meals of randomly selected workers and observe their overall health. 
minor stomach pain, minor stomach pain, major stomach pain, debilitating nausea, some vomiting, potentially unsafe in the workplace, temporary blindness. Uh, okay, unable to record symptoms as patient died within the hour for five milliliters. That is, okay, that is horrible. These people are just, they're just testing on their own employees. Have a good bra. And then there, the other one is over there. Yeah, I think we're all right. I'm a bit disoriented, apparently, but otherwise I'm fine. There's like big dinosaurs inside of this place, but how did those escape? Did they also release those? Um, I feel like Jameson might not be alive anymore. This place is a maze. It's actually pretty big. Um, but for now, so we killed four, so there's at least two more left. We need to be careful. Might be able to get a sneak attack off from up here. There we go. Oop. There we go. And there they go. So that those were the mechanicals that apparently were firing at me. There's a pistol icon on my screen. Does that mean that my weapon needs repairing? So it sets. Ooh. Repair all equipped. Let's do that. 23 weapon parts and 12 armor parts. Yep, there we go. Everything equipped and the icon is gone. So that was definitely the correct one. Advanced defensive helmet and elite troop armor again. So that's definitely not a rare armor. But at least everything's dead now. So I can just uh, take a look around. Ooh, I opened up this chest and there's like a lot of hacking and uh, lockpicking stuff in here. A ring, cigarette lighter, and cobalt exosuit. I don't really need that last one. There's another mech pick next to this dead scientist. Don't fire at me like that. There we go. It's down. It's down. That was actually a pretty big one. He, uh... I'm just gonna... Huff from the Adrenos. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I thought... The game told me there was nobody left, but apparently there was still a robot alive. I want Raptodon Mauler because uh, he got shot in the face by that mechanical. But we're still looking for Jameson. Okay. That's one of the first times I really see something on fire like this. Seems like something exploded here. And killed all the scientists. Um, and this is the lower area where I killed those two mechanicals as well. So the mechanical sentries. There are marauders here as well. So that means they were definitely attacking this place too. What were they trying to do exactly? I don't know what their goal would have been. They might have wanted to steal some uh, equipment. But even then, it doesn't seem like it was worth the risk. So this seems like the entryway. And there's a tactical shotgun. Ooh. I want to check. That's a very high DPS. Clio Lab office card. So that's always nice. And a lot of ammo. And there's another tactical shotgun on this commander. So I might be able to uh, spread the love a bit. So a tactical shotgun takes light ammo. I'm going to try that. 238 DPS. And it looks pretty cool. Might as well try that. I can hack this terminal. Lift lockdown hallway door. Let's do that. And then check the messages. From uh, Porter. We need a new code for the armory lock over in the storage facility. Make it complicated so Orson can't sneak in there again. And do not write it down this time. Use your brains. How about in this order? The month of your birthday. One. How many security rotations we have per hour? Two. The number of accidents we've had this month involving that damn culture processor tree and the maximum volume in millimeters of raptodon stomach acid a human being can ingest before we consider it lethal. Four. Sounds fine, thanks. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Got it. One, two, three, four for the armory. That that sounds that sounds great. Can I 
I can open this. But this is just the other side of that hallway, okay? Okay. We're getting around. Getting around. I'm trying to get my bearings a little bit because this place is really confusing. Is this the place I just needed the passcode for? Because this has a lot of stuff. Now, I feel like the place feels bigger on the lower floor than on the higher floor. So, I haven't used that passcode just yet, I think. But otherwise, I feel like I'm just running in circles. So this is that engine room with the robotics. Then we have this tunnel through the bathroom. And the bathroom leads back into the hallway and the main door. This, yeah, just transitions me to the Roseway Gardens. That's just that thing. And we're back here. So that's one big cycle. But upstairs, there might be... Okay, so that's the door I came in to, I think think pretty sure I did yeah and then I went into this hallway but this is the overlook so that might be why it seems smaller on the upper floor and this doesn't lead anywhere now does it ah wait 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 there's a door in the back there's a door in the back Somebody get me We're calling Mr. there he is hello I, I, I think I saved you what how the hell did you get in here uh, I just used the key card. So, <laughs> first I shot the raptodons, then I walked up the stairs. No, not. I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? I just. I should just shoot you. Um, truth be told, the, the raptodons did most of the work on the door. Not sure how they know what a lock is. Damnable beasts. At least I'm not trapped here anymore. I'll see you back at town. Why are you so angry at me? Okay. I saved Jameson. Yay. He was not really pleased to be saved, apparently. But he's saved. Yes. But that, that still doesn't explain. Or is this the armory? But is there something above the door indicating what this room is supposed to be? Apparently not. There's another terminal in here. So maybe that tells me anything? Everyone, I am sick and tired of cleaning bone out of the culture processor. This is the third time this month. The next employee to get their hands stuck in that damn machine is getting written up. Okay. Uh, hey, Masha, just FYI, gonna need another cleanup in the lab. I've lost, we've lost another finger to that infernal culture processor. Culture processor. I'm formally requesting new safety brackets be installed as the current one register with wrapped on hide but not human flesh. This is unacceptable. Okay. The typical corporate bullshit from this game, I suppose. And there's another one over here. From Crane? Portugal, according to my records, January 23rd is your birthday. As is protocol, please feel free to enjoy one 10-minute break between your normally scheduled 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock patrol shifts. I sincerely hope that on this day you take a moment to enjoy the fresh air of Terra 2, brought to you by the thorough kindness of Auntie Cleo, Dr. Crane. Yeah, we, I think we get it. Dr. Crane is an asshole. I think, yeah, we checked this already. So I think I pretty much cleared this place out. Even though I'm not sure where the armory is supposed to be. Um, maybe we can get out the, through the front door. Maybe the armory is outside or something like that. We'll have to see. And the front door doesn't seem... I mean, we saw the front door before. It doesn't seem more interesting than what we've already seen. So that means... We can now start to approach the other lab. Just gonna swap back to the uh, plasma rifle. Since that does seem to be working better in most situations. Because it burns through enemies. And most of the enemies we're fighting are actually organic. So I'm assuming that the burn damage does more against organic enemies. Do we need to make a detour? Because this road seems to be going in the wrong direction. There's plenty of machinery around, but it seems like the machinery is pretty old because it's overgrown. Ah, seems like, yeah, deforesting machine discovered. Is that Isn't thing... Pretty, Captain? I love all the trees. We ought to go places to go. He says while I'm uh, firing at uh, wild dogs. Where? Ooh, there's mines. There we go. Um, but there are mines here. So I'm going to just be carefully taking out the mines so I don't blow up again. As I did before. 
So this is supposed to be a deforestation machine. Why is it so big? This doesn't seem efficient at all. We didn't have many trees in Edgewater. Seems a shame to come down. Yeah, indeed. Why why would you? It's a bit bit weird, right? Because I mean, what did we even need wood for? I feel like everything Oh God damn it, there was another mine over there. What's this? To whom it may concern, I've been an anti-Cleo man my whole life. When I got promoted to the Roseway deforestation team, I felt privileged and honored. I believed Auntie Cleo was going to tame the wild landscape and pave it over with civilization. Better than nature, that's our motto. I wanted to be part of that initiative. I wanted to see Roseway become an object of envy among corporate outposts. I wanted to wave our quarterly reports in front of every Spacer's Choice worker I've ever known and laugh in their face. I worked from dawn to dusk without a word of complaint. Now you have me working on building walls around the town. We've given up on expansion and half the town's already been relocated. Worst of all, the deforestation team's been disbanded and my equipment's left to rust in the landscape. If you're reading this, then you have found my letter of resignation. I would rather make my own way as an outcast, living outside the law, than work under these conditions. A.H. Does that mean that was Alex Hawthorne's? Alex Hawthorne was a deforestation man before he was a, uh, yeah, a mercenary. That's interesting. Another tactical shotgun. I don't really need another one. Although I could actually grab it and then dismantle it later on. Um, there's another mine over there. So there we go. Extra healing for me. And that's another outlaw that died. And otherwise, this seems to be empty. Is that that's a Magalda ring leader? There we go. There's another one over there. That's a sniper. That's a sniper. I don't want to have him hit me. I love the scream. I mean, this sounds very, very, very sadistic, but I love the screams when they die. That lookout might have a very good hunting rifle. Ooh. A Deadeye Assault Rifle. Hammersmith originally tried to sell this gun with the slogan, slogan Sniper's Choice, but they were sued by a company that they are legally not allowed to identify. I think I know what that is. Um, hmm. Oh, wow. That is... That is something now, isn't it? Look at this bad boy. Hammer. So that's probably also the the company that made the shotgun. Yeah, Hammer. Hammer Smith? Hammer? Yeah, Hammer something. Um, I think... Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy, holy crap. Hey, here we go. Yeah. Um, ooh, there's a lot of them. These guys are actually pretty... They're actually pretty... Oh god, um, can I go with the shotgun please? Oh, can I? Thank you, fire please, thank you. There we goes. Okay. Um. Oh, were they holding hands? That was cute. That's a bunch of outlaws. I do like that sniper rifle. That was... We're gear farm friendly. Okay. I think we just killed a lot of uh, just old farm hands. That were just trying to uh, stay alive. Although these seem to be the guys that were trying to kill... Yeah, because they're right outside the lab entryway. That is interesting. I... I... I killed that first guy with a... A big sniper rifle bullet to the face. <laughs> he just went flying. I think this is him, actually. He just... Yeah, he took a... He took flight. He should be happy. He knows how to fly now. Just very, very temporarily. And only once. We're but... Walk in? I mean, it's a secret right on it. Look at this place. Like some kind of tomb. I mean, Pravati, you make a good point. Why does the secret lab actually state that it's secret right outside the door in bright red letters? This doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm just gonna go for the... You know what? The shotgun. The shotgun. Shotgun is close quarters, so let's just use that when we go inside of the... Ooh. Ordnance control armor, okay? Inside the covert lab. Okay. The secret lab actually has a better reception than the uh, 
the not so secret lab, advanced defensive helmet. Yeah, these guys just are everywhere with that armor. Um, it's a cool upgrade. I'm not complaining about that, but yeah, it's it's getting a bit too much. Okay, so there's a terminal that doesn't work. Great. Uh, I'm gonna take the Mac pick though. And then we can open this up with Anton's key card, I suppose, that we're not just opening up the door willy-nilly. And then open this up. Oh, hi. Porter. Wait. Eliminate alt losses downstairs. You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? I was invited here. Uh, Anton sent me. That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you. I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the lab. Good news is they haven't been able to escape neither. Okay, so could they get out through the fence? That's how they got in. We got that locked down. There's no access from their level without a security key card. That also means no fresh air down there. Probably reeks of wrapped on musk. Couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. Um, I'm just thinking about something. Those outlaws are probably just workers that were working around the the roseway for some reason. Um, have you been dealing with the raptodols? They don't care which side their lunch is on, but the rapt cells are down with the outlaws, so they're the appetizers. When it looks like they're fixing to make a sally upwards, I have a sniper pop the lock on a rapt cell. It's kept them busy. So the raptors are out and they're eating the outlaws um that's clever thanks company will probably bill me but better lose a rap than get shot i says okay so it's a stalemate for now i reckon they got no backup on the other hand we don't neither and our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth yeah, it seems like I haven't seen a mechanical that works properly just yet. I'll, I'll head down there. I don't really know. Because are you sure they hold the fence? Because there, there were a lot of outlaws outside of the place. Pretty damn sure. The shafts are sealed with four centimeter hatches. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Oh, God. Okay. So that might be an option. Why you want to know that? I might want to need a security key card. What for? Well, I'm going down after these guys. I don't want to get trapped by a door you locked behind me. Fair point. Here's a key card to my office. Head left from here and downstairs. It's across from the cafeteria. I got a machine that makes pass cards for us. Just don't knock over any paperwork in there. I got a system. Okay, sounds great. Thanks for that, dude. Okay, so we got a key card already to open up. So I think he said left, right? Left and then down the stairs. Oh yeah, you're not you're not happy. You're not happy about me, are you? Um I just shot the wall while charging. And hi! Well, that was the only one, Felix, so don't worry about that just yet. Um, so these apparently are the cells. And I can open those up if I want to. Done and, done. and there seem to be dead scientists in the cells. That's a bit weird. That is really, really weird. I feel like this place is holding more secrets than we realize. And we can pick all of these. And there's actually beds in here if you were to uh, play on Survivor. A few bits and pieces, but nothing spectacular in all of these things. Just some hacking uh, stuff and other things. Uh, we can pick the door for free, actually. Gosh, could check the. I could hack the terminal as well. Um, oh, that was just to open up the door, so that's fine by me. And then we get into here. The Vented Mark III helmet. I'm just going to grab that. I'll check later on if there's anything interesting there. Ooh, five, five uh, mag picks and bypass shunts. That's really, really nice. There's a terminal here as well. But otherwise, just mainly ammo, it looks like. 
which seems to me... Is this his office? Probably not. No, his office wouldn't be right next to the prison. Maintenance logs. 06's patrol route passed too close to the experimental subject pens. Now there's wrapped spit gunking up the servos in its gun arm. We don't have a replacement arm, so guess we disassembled this one for parts. Someone tried to disable the mandatory consumer podcast on 17. The thing got stuck in maximum volume mode until we factory reset it. 12 for the CS malfunction today, Porter accidentally tripped one of the sensors inside the wall, so the blasted unit told everyone was an intruder and just started shooting. Okay, so they kind of did it themselves. No response on the behavior modules for the time being, we'll have to hope nobody blows up a wall. Okay, so it feels like the robots broke down because they were uh, bumbling idiots. Seems par for the course for this game. Ooh, thanks for all of that. It's a lot of ammo and stuff. Um, so that's that door. We've opened up most of the doors there. Uh, so it seems we need to go a bit further into this area then. Do need to be careful. Because if this is where the rest of the Raptodons are, I probably shouldn't continue moving in this direction. There's more and more... Oh god, that's one of those SAM units. Um, I'm gonna go up first. Because there was another door over here, but that one's barred, so I don't have another choice than to just go down. Okay, just wanted to check. That's literally the only way we can actually go, so... Let's go a little bit further. So let's charge up the rifle. And shoot at the legs, which are apparently its weak spots. Okay, uh, I need to heal. Where is that coming from? Let's shoot them all, and there we go. Felix was really, really easily taken down. You okay, buddy? Are you okay, buddy? Because, uh, I mean, those guys weren't all that hard. I know they're taking most of the damage for me. I realize that, I realize that, but still, I feel like I could take them out with two shots that they should be able to as well, because their damage output, their DPS is supposed to be higher. Unless, of course, I don't know how armor is actually factored into this, uh, into the damage output you have. If it's taken per shot, then of course, high fire rate weapons will do less damage on uh, high ar highly armored uh, units, because the damage is reduced per shot. If I have a uh, high da damage output with a single shot, that's going to be better than high DPS with low damage per shot. But, par for the course, everybody seems to be dead. Which is uh, fine, I guess. But, since we're now in the cafeteria, it seems like a pretty safe area. I'm going to take a little break here. We've been exploring two labs already, so it seems like a, a good time to end it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And when we get back, we're going to continue exploring the secret lab because it seems to be quite big. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. See you guys next time on The Outer Worlds. Goodbye.